Welcome to Yoga Express, the mobile stretch clinic that takes yoga to the people. We have with us today four beautiful guests, and this time we have a gentleman in our group to prove yoga is not just for women. To my extreme right, Kyle Phoenix. To Kyle's left, Judy Jacob. My name is Banu Suresh. To my left, Amy Kitchener. To Amy's left, is Lucy Benjamin. Last week, we spoke about arthritis and did a few stretches that would help you understand how we can prevent arthritis. Today, we're gonna get a taste of how to prevent asthma, another everyday ailment that could really get you in a lot of pain if you're not careful. I've always maintained you can escape your friends. You can also escape your family at times, but you cannot escape your genes. If asthma is in your bloodline, there is a high possibility that it is in your genes. If you're unlucky enough to be in a polluted part of town one of these days, you will find that possibly your dormant asthma genes could get triggered. How do we try and prevent that? <clears throat> there are postures that are safe stretches in yoga that can help expand the chest muscles. We have to remember that a lot of the common ailments impact different parts of the body. So if you can keep different parts of the body healthy, you are quite safe from these ailments. For instance, arthritis of the knees, you want to bend and unbend the knees, which we saw last week. This week, we're going to see how we can stretch our chest muscles, expand our chest muscles with specific stretches in yoga. We have asthma-specific cards from my book, Yoga Secrets, and we're going to try a few postures today. Before we do that, I would like at least a couple of our participants to tell us why or how they think yoga can help them or if it has already helped them centralize their thoughts centralize their experiences judy would you like to start i yes why are you here you said it exactly <laughs> about the centralizing of the thoughts before my thoughts were all over the place and through yoga through the concentration on the postures i was able to really focus and it's been very beneficial in all walks of life. Great. And it's really been quite a, an interesting experience. So it's Joyful. actually helped you put your thoughts together? Yes. And enjoy whatever you're working at more yes, fully it's possibly? Yes, exactly. Much more fulfilling and enjoyable. Great. I remember talking to Lucy on the phone the other day. Lucy, did you have any experiences? Where you think yoga might have been beneficial for you? Did it help you in any way? Well, it always leaves you more supple after the exercise. Right. While you're doing the yoga exercises, usually you're in meditation because you're concentrating just on the poses. Right. And you relax into them, so thereby creating the body's normal uh, movement to become more fluid. Exactly. Right. You're retraining the muscles that we may not have used for yes. a while. Yes, correct. Right. Yes. So Judy has experienced the physical side of yoga and enjoyed it. Uh, Judy, actually, Lucy has, and Judy has experienced the spiritual side as well. I can see, I know you were on a bus last week in, was it Botanical Gardens? We were on our way to Fordham University right. for a swimming meet. Wow. And it was with the uh, Special Olympics. I, uh, I'm a coach, I'm an assistant coach for the Special Olympics uh, Manhattan swim team. Nice. And we had a first competition. And I tell you, the yoga has really helped, helps to, to focus um, my attention. Uh, as a matter of fact, next week our training will begin. So it helps us to help the, the, special, the athletes, especially for the newcomers. I'm so newcomers to the that. pool, they're a little bit reluctant about getting in the water. Sometimes they need right. a little bit extra help and care. So the yoga really helps to focus. The attention is right there with the athletes. Perfect. Actually, at the time of filming this episode, Judy has been training these young athletes. By the time we air, she's probably going to be on to another project as well, which 
It's really great. I know Judy has enjoyed these sessions. I'm mm -hmm. hoping you'll be with us for a long time, as I'm hoping the rest of us. Amy and Kyle will give us your experiences after we do a few stretches. I don't want any of us to freeze. So let's try a few of the asthma stretches. Since we're in a seated position, we're going to try posture number 20, which is Marjaria or cat posture. Let's come on our knees and hands. Keep your toes curled in. Asthma, help, uh, preventing asthma involves stretching or expanding your chest muscles. So this is a great posture to experience that. What I want you to do, since your toe, when your toes are curled in, your midriff actually dips down. Your butt comes as high as possible. Bring your chin up and inhale. Now uncurl your toes, keep your feet flat, exhale, arch your back and keep exhaling. Dip your forehead down, keep exhaling, hold. Come back, curl your toes again, inhale, bring your face up. Fill your lungs with air. Exhale. Arch your back, uncurl your toes. Let's get back in seated position and just explore this posture for a moment. This is called a cat position because cats typically stretch their bodies the way we were trying to stretch now. A lot of yoga postures are taken from nature, either plants or animals. After one more posture, we will have each of our participants come to the center and do a demo of these. I'd like all of our viewers to understand what asthma involves. Asthma typically is a constriction or inflammation of our airways or the chest muscles. It makes breathing harder. Now, if it's in your genes, like I said, you probably have those dormant genes in you. It might get triggered. So some of the causes of asthma are exposure to dust and fumes, infection, anxiety. I've actually known someone who had an attack of asthma and died because of that. It can happen because when you get anxious, you get stressed out, your chest muscles constrict, and you just stop, you don't have air going through your lungs, through your pipes. So what we do in yoga, we try to expand our chest as much as possible, and you will find that it definitely helps over a period of time. Some of the symptoms would be shortness of breath, swelling of airways, tightness in the chest. Some of the symptoms you can feel, some you can actually sense it. You don't really know or you don't exactly feel the swelling, but you can sense there's something wrong in your pipes. So let's try one more stretch, chest opening stretch, and then we will have Amy and Kyle tell us their experiences of how they feel. Uh, would someone like to demonstrate this time? Amy, why don't you come in the center? We're going to do posture number 21. It's the camel posture, once again taken from nature. Amy will be on our knees again. Okay, okay you're in profile, so what I'd like, yes, please sit down. Your feet are flat, that's good. And if it hurts just a little bit, it's okay. But if you're in pain, let go. Don't worry, just relax. Okay, I'd like you to just first Sit up straight, take a deep breath, inhale, fill your lungs with air. Now keep your hands behind your butt, place your palm behind your butt, yes. Now that's to support you so you don't go all the way back. Now sit up, I'd like you to sit, yes, sit up on your knees, good. And inhale, bring your chair, oh, why don't the rest of you join us, come on, come on. Amy, is in pro Amy and I are sitting sideways, you can sit exactly where you are. Place your palms behind your butt. You're sitting up, straight up on your knees. I'm gonna to turn to face Lucy so she's not alone. Inhale, bring your chin up. And very slowly guide your palms down the back of your thighs. Go back as deep as you can. If you can go down to the back of your knees, that's great. If you can reach back, keep going, don't let go. If you can reach back to your heels, that would be wonderful. That's it, great. Hold it. I'm going to come and help you. Oh, great, Kyle, good job. Come on, Judy, doing great. Yes, that's good. Very nice, that's okay. Okay, now if you don't reach your heels, you can just rest your hands behind your butt, but keep gliding down. 
Okay, inhale, hold. How are we going here? Oh, lovely. Lucy, perfect, lovely. Inhale, come up very gently. Now place your hands behind your butt again. When you come up, be very careful. Do it gently. Get back, sit down on your heels. When you come up, make sure that you do not come up suddenly. You're back here with your palms behind your heels. As you come up, always lift your head first. Slowly, bring your hand behind your butt. Then you gently sit down. Be careful that your movements are very slow, very gentle, just so you don't, you know, get a crick in your muscle, in your neck, in your back. Be very careful. Thank you, Amy. Kyle, you are new to our show. Would you like to do the next demo? Sure. All right. Let's do a seated. Uh, Kyle, what do you think about posture number 28? Are you comfortable with that? You want to try that? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> you want to give it a shot? Or we, oh can do, we can do a standing. Let's do a standing one. <laughs> let's, do, <laughs> let's do a standing posture. Posture number one, actually. It's okay. the first one. And you'll actually like this. Let's all join Kyle. Actually, you, uh, the viewers, as well as the participants here, probably experience this even in everyday life when you wake up in the morning, first thing in the morning. You're stretching all the way. In yoga, all you're doing a little bit extra is you're combining your breath and your focus. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do here is actually stretch all the way up. Now first, usually when you start your standing posture, your heels are together, toes are slightly apart, hands by your side. Inhale, bring your arms up. Keep inhaling, take your arms all the way overhead. Clasp both your palms together. Now. Intertwine your fingers, turn your palms out. Inhale and try to go back, as far back, but be careful, don't go too far back. Hold it, when you pass midriff, you actually start inhaling, so you're not going too far back, that's nice. Good, Lucy, nice. Now all you're doing here is just expanding your chest muscles, so you are giving yourself room to breathe, you're giving, you're giving yourself an opportunity to open up your airways. Bring your palm, hands down slowly, keep exhaling, bring your hands by your side. That's nice, I like that, you actually were in prayer posture, it comes naturally, right? When you bring it this way, bring it in front, bring it down. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you. Take a seat and we will have Amy Explain while we oh you know what let's go into one more posture before Amy and Kyle tell us their experiences with yoga. Mm -hmm. Lucy, would you come up, please? Mm -hmm. Lucy is going to help us demonstrate posture number four, thiri uh, triangle posture, trikon. Trikon three is three, corn is corner. So trikon is simply three corners. So if you look at the posture, it looks like you've got three corners. Mm -hmm. Lucy, why don't you face your yes? Go sideways on your mat. I'll try and talk you through. Take your legs about three to four feet apart. Three feet is good. Even if you're very tall, three feet is good, yeah. Your toes are turned in, heels are slightly out. That's it, Lucy, hands on your hips. As you inhale, your arms go up to shoulder height. So just try and follow my instructions. Inhale, bring your arms up to shoulder height, good. Now what you're going to do is you're going to form a triangle by bringing your right arm down and then we'll do the other side. So let me come back here. As your right hand comes down, your left hand goes up and your left palm faces to your right. And keep exhaling. Go down all the way and bring your chest forward. So you, yes, that's it. Open up your chest. Great. So that way you're expanding. Great. Keep exhaling. As you exhale, you'll notice the more air you get, nice, Amy, the more air you get out of your body, the more space you're making for your body to move into a posture. Inhale, come up. Let's try the other side. Now slightly, if it helps you, slightly turn your left toes out just a little bit. We did not do that on the right side. We're gonna see if it makes a difference and if it makes us helps us go a little deeper. Good. Inhale, now as you're going down, you're gonna dip your left hand all the way down, your right hand goes up, exhale. And your right palm faces forward. So you're gathering energy. Good, nice. Keep it straight. And that's, that's it. Okay, inhale, come up. 
Kyle, you're doing good. Exhale, bring your hands down. Thank you, Lucy, that was great. Amy, would you like to, before we go into our next posture, would you, the next one is a little bit intense, but before that, would you like to tell us while we're standing, or you want to do it while you're doing the posture, tell us a little bit, did you, how did you feel in these postures, first of all? Oh, very, um, peaceful. Peaceful. And, yeah, very peaceful, and um, you said about the opening up. Opening I up really the chest. wanted to focus yes. on that and feeling the stretches. I'm, I'm wondering, Kyle, when you were little, did you and your friends ever play the game where people tried to touch the elbows and the back? Jenny's smiling, did you ever try yeah. that? Yeah. Well, of course, yeah. now it's gonna be hard for us <laughs> to have done it every day, but it's a nice way to get your chest to expand. And you can always have people help you, you can help each other too. It's a nice way to get your chest, oh, sorry, that's not great. No. Nice, you should just feel, yeah, that's it, see? There you go, you're a natural teacher, Kyle. <laughs> now turn around, have Judy help you. Yeah, you can try and help each other. That in itself is a nice deep stretch for your chest muscles. You can feel it, right? And what happens is you're releasing all those feel-good juices every time you stretch so powerfully. You really get a little bit of a healthful high. In fact, you can get a real good high sometimes. Okay, I think we've got enough of a high. Great, great job. Do you, does that make you feel better? Um, <laughs> yes, I, I, I can feel it all over my body. You can feel it all over your body. Great. So, do you want to tell us a little bit about your how you felt now? And did you ever did you expect that you would be on our show today? <laughs> um, no, but I have been thinking about taking yoga classes. You have? Yes, yes. So, Fantastic. trying to take two yoga classes a week. So, I bought some yoga DVDs. That's why when you suggested it to me, it wasn't that alien of a thought. Yeah, I appreciate your Thank coming. You. Actually, Kyle bailed us out today. I was running around looking for a blank tape, and he was right there on the spot, so thank you. <laughs> thank you. And he got drafted into our program. But he, you were planning it anyway, so. Yes, so consciously. Good, maybe. good, good. I'm glad you're here today. <laughs> let's try a very intense standing back bend, and let's all do it together. We'll have our back to the camera simply because when we do the, oh, the posture number, let me tell you it is posture number seven, which is Thiriyang Asan. Oh, you know what, let's go sideways. Let's go sideways. Let's all turn towards George's camera. Let's all turn this way. Kyle, turn around. I'm gonna try and talk you through. Now, not, keep your feet about, say, 12 to 14 inches apart. That should do. Your hands, your palms are flat behind your butt. Okay, yeah, you can watch the shadow. By all means, watch the shadows. <laughs> now, as you go up, you're gonna inhale. Once you pass the center, we're gonna exhale. So inhale, you're going backward. You're gonna glide your palms back down, your, back down the back of your thighs. Inhale, keep inhaling. Now exhale. You're okay to bend your knees just a little bit. Now hold it, I'm gonna just make sure you're okay. Good, bend your knees just a little bit. It'll help you go further down. Nice, Lucy, glide back. You can go all the way. Your hands can go all the way down to the back of your knees. Nice, hold it. If you come out of your posture, that's fine. Kyle, you're doing good. Keep breathing, don't stop breathing, please. That's it, nice. Inhale, come up. Nice, I noticed you did bend your legs. You remember that, that's great. There is a counter posture to this, which is not necessarily for, uh, not necessarily uh, helpful for asthma, but it is a good counter posture, and I really think we should get into that so that you don't hurt your back. So let's get our feet as far apart as possible, three to four feet. Turn your toes in. I like to say put your brakes on, heels out, toes in, so you don't hurt yourself. And this is a posture we have practiced before. So you're gonna inhale, and as you exhale, fold from the hip. Take your hands all the way down between your legs. Place them on the floor. Just go as deep as you can. Keep exhaling. Once your palms are on the floor, feel free to wiggle your feet outward. And if you want to go really deep or a little deeper, try, like Lucy is doing, try and get your head on the floor. Fantastic work, Lucy, great. All of you are doing good. Now I'm gonna come out, hold it. That's nice. Yeah, that's it. Just make sure you make the connection. Inhale, come up very gently. Be careful as you come up. Inhale, keep, yep. <laughs> Hands by your side, wiggle your feet together. Come closer. 
Okay, now these are postures we are doing together. We have four more postures. We have about eight minutes, so we're gonna have each one of us demonstrate. Now, Kyle, you chickened out on us on posture number 28. So I'm gonna request Lucy Gomogasana. Gomogasana is called cow face. I have no idea why it's called cow face, but I think when you cross your legs, it looks like the face, the mouth of a cow. We're gonna see when Lucy does that. Let's take a seat, let's sit down. See if you can cross. Now take your left heel, tuck it under your right buttock, and then take your right foot. Use your hands, take your right foot, cross it over your left leg, and just the way Lucy is doing it, make sure you turn your right foot with your heels facing back. Now, uh, Lucy, you're almost into that half of the Matsendra posture, but we're gonna do Gomukha. So what we're gonna do, your hands are gonna go behind you. So you, let me see. So if it's a right leg over the left, you look confused. No, come on, I'll help you. Right leg over the left leg, okay. Right. Yeah. Then it's the left hand, oh, sorry. Right leg over, then the left hand goes up. No, the left hand, yeah. yes. So it's always the opposite, just so you get a balance, nice. So see if you can reach both your hands together. Kyle, I'm gonna come and help you, how are you going? No, I'll be, I'll be right there with you, Kyle. Keep going. Sometimes you can also help push your uh, elbow. When you have your left elbow up, you can push your left elbow further with your right hand. You can help yourself. Push it as deep as you can. Yeah, that's good. And then you can try the other side. So try one side. Now you want your left hand up. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And we do typically use props. Today we're not going to. We're going to do the best we can as we are. Exhale, bring your hand down. Now we cross over the other leg. Take your right heel under your left butter. Your left foot goes over your right knee. Make sure your heels face the back of the hall. Now take your right arm, raise your right arm, bend it at the elbow and go all the way behind your trapezius muscles. And I don't know if the camera can pick up, but Lucy's hands She's able to clasp her hands behind, which is great because you need to make sure you make that connection and hold. Amy's hands are also clasping, that's great. So is Judy. Come on, Kyle. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. We're gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a prop. Now, if you cannot reach your hands, that's fine. Hold on to your shirt. You wanna make sure, yes, you wanna make sure you get a grip. That's it. You don't, you never wanna leave your limbs in midair. In yoga, you always make a connection. Now, inhale and exhale, let go. Wow. <laughs> you can stretch your legs out. See, it's been a while since you're stretched. Yes. That's probably it, and you're gonna be here in every other episode. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lucy. Judy, is it your turn? Yeah, Have you I'm been so on the demo mat? <laughs> Please. Okay. We always make, yes. Mm -hmm. We have about five minutes left, so we have enough to do about four postures. I think we're doing good. We're gonna go into a prone position. We're trying not to repeat the postures that we tried in arthritis. So let's go prone, all the way down on your belly. We're gonna practice posture number 36. I'm gonna try and talk you through this one because I want you to experience. <laughs> 36 is called Bhujanga or Cobra. Nice, Lucy, your position is great. Now, the way Lucy has her feet tucked in is good, but I think she'll feel, you'll feel the intensity more, Lucy, seeing that you're very comfortable. Just untuck your toes, keep them flat, good. Now rest your palms, you're in the sphinx position, but what you wanna do is come back. That's good, Kyle. So bring your palms just under your shoulders and your forehead is on the floor. What you're gonna do is, as you peel your head off the floor, you're gonna inhale. Let's do that, keep your feet on the ground. Inhale, come up. And then push with your palms and come up a little bit. Now, be, uh, make sure your elbows are bent just a little bit and let's bend inwards, exactly the way Lucy's got it, Judy, Amy, great. Make sure you bend backward, that's it, that's it, inward. Nice. Hold for a few seconds. 
Exhale, try to keep your feet closer. Nice. Exhale, come down, forehead to the ground. Relax for a few seconds. We're going into another posture that's very similar. Who has not done a demo? <laughs> no one's looking up now, no one's answering. <laughs> uh, I think Lucy has been there, Judy. Judy, we'll stay with you, stay there. We're going to the next posture, which is called Dhanurasana. This also is a good chest expander. Stay right where you are. Now, very gently, you're going to lift your head, reach out with your right hand, fold your right leg, reach out for your right ankle. And if you can, fold your left leg, reach out for your left ankle. Now, once you've got a grip, Inhale, come up, bring your chest up. That's it, good, hold, very nice. Try to close in your knees. The more you get, the closer your knees get, the stronger your back gets. Good. Well done, Kyle, you didn't need any help here, great. <laughs> Exhale, come down, release. Nice, beautiful. Lucy, that was a very nice release. Amy, nice back bend. Inhale, come up. We are gonna actually, we're gonna turn over actually in supine position. Let's have, Judy, why don't you take your place there? Let's have our head towards the camera. We have two more postures to go. And both of these are in supine position. Lie on your backs with your heels close to yourselves. Now this one is called Matsyasana, Matsya is fish. Inhale and try to peel your chest off the floor. Press with your palms. Your palms are down on the floor, flat. Let me watch you. Good. Press with your palm. Peel your chest off. Great. Just your chest. Good. And hold. Rest your head on the floor. Fantastic. Very nice. Good. And you've all got your feet. Kyle, relax your feet. You're doing great. Just hold it for a few seconds. Release. Bring your chest back down. Did you actually? Now keep your head down on the floor. Always rest, always make the connection. Try it one more time, inhale, bring your chest up. Good, yes, I wanna make sure that your back is off the floor, good. Exhale, come down. And the last posture is called the bridge posture. This is another chest expander, except it expands in a slightly different way in that you will be also lifting your hip off the floor. So use your elbows to support yourself on the floor. Place the palms of your hands under your butt. Inhale. Every time you are in a tough spot, you're in a posture that calls for a little extra effort, you exhale. So first inhale, then exhale. Lift your body. Lift your hip. I'm sorry, I should have said that. Place your palm under your butt. Support your butt. Be careful. I know there are folks who can do it without support. I would highly recommend use your arms. Use your palms under your butt. You have your hands, use them. Hold, exhale, release. Very gently, place your butt. Amy, I think you wanna go up a little higher. I want you to lift your butt a little more. Come on, inhale, go up, you can go. Bend your elbows, yeah, bring your feet closer to your butt, that's it. That's it, good, nice, yeah. See, Lucy can do it without her palms under her butt, but she's doing fine too. Okay, exhale, release, relax, come up. Let's sit up and say goodbye to our viewers. I hope all of you feel good after those stretches. Just remember, asthma, preventing asthma is as simple as just having chest openers. Just open up your chest. You don't have to practice yoga if you do. You're welcome, we're very happy. If you don't, just make sure every now and then you're seated at the computer table, you're working on the computer every few minutes, just do some chest stretches. You will feel wonderful, wonderful relief in the back. Your trapezius muscles, it enhances your airflow capacity and quality of breathing, strengthens and stretches your chest muscles. We will see you again in the next episode. We will focus on constipation. Thank you, George. Oh, that feels, it's hard to talk and do it at the same time. I'm not going to do it anymore. <laughs>